As a young girl, Rosalind Franklin loved science. By age 15, she had already decided that she wanted to be a chemist. Despite opposition from her family, she graduated from college and worked as a chemist in both academic and medical settings, and even worked for a company in the mining industry on the structure of coal. While working at a university in Paris, she developed leading-edge technology called X-ray crystallography. X-ray crystallography is used to determine the structure of atoms in molecules. Later, at King's College, she was recruited to use X-ray crystallography to study the structure of DNA. One of Rosalind Franklin's co-workers, Maurice Wilkins, showed one of her pictures that she had developed using X-ray crystallography of DNA to a friend of his named James Watson without her permission. Watson and his partner Francis Crick used this picture as a stepping stone to write their famous paper announcing the discovery of the structure of DNA, the double helix. Watson, Crick, and Wilkins were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1962, four years after Rosalind Franklin died. The Nobel Prize rules limit the prize to those that are alive, so if Rosalind Franklin was ineligible. Nevertheless, many have thought that she deserved explicit mention in the award, and that her key role in confirming the structure of DNA was overlooked because of her early death and the attitudes of the scientists of the time towards women scientists.